Hey yo, what up? Welcome to Black Savage Entertainment. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and turn your notification bell on. Yo, we got Wack 100. He's reacting to Brick Baby threatening to sue after the video leaked of him getting yoked up by P. Nice. So let's get right into it, man. Let's hear Wack 100 react to Brick Baby issuing this legal threat. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get it. Yo, did that nigga say he filed in a lawsuit because the video came out? I'm confused by this. Whoa, wait, hold on. I just I commented seen, on it. Oh, I ain't seen, rat, seen that. Bro. Hold on. <laughs> you ain't seen that. That thing is Bumpy, you slipping. Uh, hold on. I filed a lawsuit because y'all released the video. <laughs> I put a case on you. <laughs> y'all released the video. I'm filing a lawsuit. I said, bro, listen, I ain't going to lie. If it wasn't for AD and them, the Crips is looking bad. You niggas is looking bad. You niggas, I swear. Rolling 60s, one of the biggest motherfucking Crip gangs in California. And at the end of the day, the loudest voice is this nigga Brick Baby. And if they don't react and respond and shut dude down the way they supposed to, after they didn't heard this nigga cry and crash out and blow his dead homies in this hood up over and over again. And on this one, they just heard him do it and we didn't put it out. The nigga got content, came out. On the hundred side of him saying, my neighborhood been sweeping shit up under the rug for years and all this shit. And y'all don't touch this nigga. I shut this nigga. I give him an ultimatum, nigga, what he better do. Or he don't get DP'd to the motherfucking sixth degree, nigga. You niggas, y'all throwing away 60 years, nigga, what it took to get to where you at. Cause this shit ain't making no sense. Now the nigga wakes up and said, lawsuits to both parties. Never got authorization to drop neither video. The influence in LA is my sister's reality show. Thanks for the little bitty check I'm finna get. So your whole thing is, on the hood, on 6 so on the dead homies. That's nigga never funny. touched me. If a nigga would've touched me, I'd've That's put blick funny. on him. Yeah, them yeah. niggas ain't even like that. And whoop That's de whoop. Funny. And I'll let you ride it for eight hours and I put it out and that's you. Scared as a motherfucker. You didn't try to put an arm up, a forearm up. The only motherfucker being aggressive is your wife who getting power roots put up in her right now anyway. And that's on power root. Only one aggressive in that thing is your wife. Get off of him. Get off of him. Get off of him. You sit there like, homie, why? Wait. And DW had to come over there and get his brother off of you. You got collared up, nigga, and snatched up. And you react in the morning to, I'm filing a lawsuit on you. And get the fuck out of here, bro. I don't want to hear no more, no more about none of this shit, about I'm putting kill team in the street. Adam, I know what you doing. You don't mind having a jackass bozo the clown, nigga, up there with you because either way it go, regardless of what it say or how he look, he brings the people that want to come laugh at his dumb ass. I get it. You keep you keep doing what you do. Your big house is your big house. But at the end of the day, bro, everybody see what's going on. Nigga, this nigga here, Flacco got more credibility, nigga, than this nigga. Media team, y'all need to go pull the ministers where he's saying, that never happened from this shit yesterday we released where he was giving a description of what DW Flame and P Nice wasn't and I wished him would have and my nigga is bigger than them niggas they was right there what you think he would have did and all that y'all need to go get all that and put it with this video that just came out I got a raw video the video with all the, all the other shit I sent to the back channels my nigga because I don't think the world is understanding, my nigga. Pay attention. That's the same clothing he had on that video I got on my IG with this nigga crying and crashing out. It's the same day. Same day he got snatched up. I don't want to hear, bro. I don't want to hear nothing the nigga talking about, nigga. This is some real shit. Rolling 60 Crip is I know little motherfucking gang, and I ain't never known it to let a bozo ass nigga like this to sit here and keep blowing up their neighborhood blowing up their dead homies because he felt like niggas ain't gonna do nothing 
if that nigga don't get a call at minimum, hey, don't put nothing else on the hood or nothing else on the dead homies on that motherfucking podcast. A nigga gonna start looking at some shit like, my nigga, what the fuck going on over there? First of all, everything shouldn't be on the hood of the dead homies. On the dead homies, I got a sale on the motherfucking celery nigga at the grocery store. On the dead homies. This nigga put everything on the dead homies. That's a violation in itself. But now you blowing your shit up. And your response is, I'm suing because the footage came out that showed I lied and blew the hood and the dead homies came out. Come on, my nigga. What we talking about, bro? The streets is a myth. Troy adverse. Troy Ab just called me too. I got some exclusive content. Let me send it to the flow. This is crazy. Bad work. Bad work. Bad work. Who in there? Two, who got audio? Two, four got audio in there. Wait, this nigga suing what? Come on, bro. Y'all see it, my nigga. Damn, I just woke up from a nap and got this nigga tweet. <laughs> this nigga say, I'm suing, nigga. I'm suing because y'all put it out. Y'all showed I blew my hood up, my dead homies, and y'all showed I was lying. I'm suing, nigga. Yo, Uck, Uck, why you ain't tell us he had him hemmed up with one arm, man? I told y'all, bro. <laughs> one <man>. arm. <laughs> Come on, bro. That nigga didn't even try to throw a forearm up a swing. Nigga, nigga should have been getting off. Something. It should have been, Cubs, get off me. Swinging. Some kind of buck. Something, something bro. Something. That nigga had to fear God in his motherfucking eyes. But didn't they, didn't they, wasn't they making a bigger issue about when you saw a world star and niggas ain't supposed to sue nobody and this, that, and that, there, and then they suing? Bro, I, listen, that's a defamation of character. I can only that's sue a world star because you put up a lie. That's a company, but these motherfuckers, yeah, they put a, a whole, lie. That's a, you, we got, okay, well, where the paperwork at that waxed it and farming and whacked hold on somebody. Uh, 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 wait, look, that's cool. You put it up, bro. It's three million people looked at it. You know, here go his first middle name and last. You, you, you go pull the documents. What a, okay, can you go report those documents that you guys pulled up and show us that they authentic and real? Uh, um, well, we took the word of Big U. Okay, well, that's cool. We don't take the word of Big U. Can you go pull those documents? Two months later, those documents don't exist. Can we go to mediation? Yeah, we can go to mediation. This shit. On six of my dead homies, that nigga didn't touch me. Nigga would have touched me. It would have been this. It would have been that. My homie was right there. Whoop de whoop de whoop. Two seconds later, you call it up. Yo, that's pretty much the end of WAC 100 reacting to Brick Baby threatening to file a lawsuit because the video of P Nice yoking him up and No Jumper got leaked. He's saying he didn't authorize the video. Uh, thanks for the check he's about to receive. Now, Wack is of the opinion that Brick Baby deserved a DP after being the loudest one claiming to be from Rolling 60s, the one always blowing up the hood and getting exposed later. He just needs to be DP. He needs to stop mentioning Rolling Sixties because Wack 100 saying they looking bad out here. If it wasn't for AD, a lot of the Rolling Sixties, they 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 whole card is looking bad. Now y'all don't crucify me in the comments. These are Wack 100's words, not mine. Now he also spoke on that time where he sued World Star for putting out the CS2 back information on him, claiming that was defamation of character because there was no truth to that, and they were saying that he was a federal informant, so. They had to produce evidence of that being true which they couldn't this thing with brick baby on the other hand he's saying on the dead homies on rolling 60 nobody touched me somebody would have died and then p nice drops the video showing that he definitely got yoked up and he didn't have any of that energy he seemed pretty calm in the video like he was just trying to let the situation run its course so he can get up out of there I didn't see any type of aggression. He didn't say, yo, cuz, get off of me. Yo, on the neighborhood, get off me. On the dead homies, get off me. He didn't say none of that. So I think that's the point that WAC 100 is trying to make. 
Yo, if you made it this far in this video, man, make sure you subscribe to this channel. This is Black Savage Entertainment. Make sure you give this video a like. Turn your notification bell on so you know when I drop the next video. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.